some people have said, suggested that uh, your Edoche should be checked on. And that um, the reason behind this is this. They, they are seeing uh, certain, you know, updates on Yule Edoche's page. And this update, they do not believe it's Yule Edoche. They don't believe Yule Edoche put out this caption. Mm. So, if anything is to happen to Yule Edoche, you will not know because his page is active. Is active. Why am I saying this? Sarah Martins claim that Judy Austin is the one behind most of the write-up. And I'm sure Yule Duce is literate. There is no way Sarah Martins will write these things without Yule Duce being aware of it. And moreover, um, <clears throat> what makes you think that Yule Duce cannot write these things too? The reason why you're thinking this way is the image that you still have of Yule Duce, and it's a good thing. It means that Yule Duce has or still has something, a little bit of it, even if it's a drop. And if he can tap into that little drop of whatever grace remains inside of him, he will bounce back stronger, but he needs to repent. Not because he went into polygamy, but the way he went about it and the mysterious R.I.P. of his son. He wrote this. But before I proceed, like and share, tap on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, returning subscribers, and those that have been here, I say a very big thank you to you. For those who have tapped on the thanks button, I really appreciate you a lot. You've been so um, gracious to this platform. Yule Duche wrote this, the most important teachings of God is love. Love God, love your fellow human being as you love yourself. Sadly, love is the least preached in our world today. The absence of love is wrecking our society. Humans do so much evil and wickedness to their fellow humans because of lack of love. It's disheartening to fix our society. We must begin to preach and practice love more. And after putting this out, Yule Duce wrote update. And before he posted this, he put out a picture of Judy Austin, the giant chested bride, wife of his, and wrote Ijele. Odogu Ijele 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 Isimili. A Excellency Judy Austin won. Onyem for life. Hmm. Hmm. You see, Yule Duche is truly an actor. Mm. He's really an actor with Judy Austin. They know how to they are they are like fair weather you know they they are neither here or there today they are shining sunshine tomorrow they are as wet as rain Yule Duce has written all of this love your neighbor love this and that you know it's like a serpent biting at you and expects you to embrace it that is what Yule Duce is talking about here. The old tirade, love your neighbor, love the enemy, love the friend. All of this that he posted is just saying you should accept, you should embrace me even when I am oppressing you. Your oppressor wants you to embrace. I don't know if you found friends like that in your life. These are people who, they want to bully you. They want to spite you right in, your, in, in front of you. They want to spite you. They want to bully you. They want to talk down. They want to ridicule you. And they want you to accept it. They want you to embrace it. They don't want you to speak back. 
They don't want you to say nothing to them. They believe that they have the right to tell you what they want. Uh, you know, it's a narcissistic behavior. And I think it comes from when, probably when they were young, they dealt with certain people around themselves and uh, those people accepted. So they grew up with this idea like, oh, I think I'm superior. Or I think, or oh, maybe it stems from inferior complex. So they feel that the way they can move in life is for them to make other people feel less. Make other people feel low. And they want you to embrace it. And they come out talking about love God, love your fellow human being. What you are saying is accept my wicked act, embrace my evil to you, on you. And if you don't, they say, sadly, love is the least preached in the world today. The absence of love is wrecking our society. Like you are wrecking that narcissistic thing inside of them. You are wrecking it. You are not making them feel better. Because the only way they feel better is when they oppress you. When they press you down. Look at you, Leduce. You've lived with a woman for many years. Donkey years. Obviously, you, you, you have your differences. You have your differences. Maybe few marriages, relationship. Have nothing. No, those people will tell you, look. Ever since I met this woman. Ever since we've been in a relationship, there was no day or time that we had arguments. Yes, there are people who are fortunate and lucky to have this. There are people who are fortunate, lucky to have this in their lives. Yeah, it happens. But not everybody. You always have differences, issues here and there. You know, maybe financial issues, maybe... You know, it could be anything. It could be that one person or the other is dealing with some childhood trauma. It could be that you are no longer the man that you used to be or the woman you used to be. It could be that the person came into your life for a different reason. And when I say different reason, I mean, okay, let, let me say a specific reason. Oh, they like the way your hair looked like. And now your hair is thinning out. All of a sudden, they don't like you. No, that's why it's very important. That you know what you are in. You, you, you should have things that last forever. You should look at things that last forever. I mean, unless you are going to have problems in your life. If you are just that kind of person who went with this lady because of only certain looks. Yes, you will like someone the way, you know, you, you want to go with someone um, for how, you know, you, you the physical appearance, of course, is also part of why people get attracted to one person or the other. Yes, it is. And you cannot say, oh, that is the only thing I came in for. If that's it, is, you know, these things depreciate. So, you let Duce, you've written what you've written. I don't know who you are referring to, but you posted the jelly. Uh, you posted the jelly and you posted uh, this message. So, I do not know who you are really referring to here i do not know who you are referring to um i don't know what you are trying to say here um, but we know we know we know what you're trying to say here um to fix our society when you have not fixed your own head you've not fixed your own mind and you have all of this written out i'm sure you copied it from somewhere and you posted it so people would think that you are smart, but you are not.